Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. <sighs> well, I decided to record some more Alan Wake to try and get some things out of my mind. Been arguing with the girlfriend and I'm feeling like crap. But I'm hoping that some good old fashioned immersion will be able to make me forget it for just a while. Yeah, I know. It sounds strange, doesn't it? Most people turn to drink to forget shit, not open up a game and go, Yep. Let's shoot shit. And anyway, I'm gonna put my gamer face on and try and remember what the hell happened the last time. Uh, yeah, the only save that there is. But yeah, I think it will give us a, um, what's it called? A recap. Wait. Why am I here? Should have sent me to the next. Never. Ugh. Give me a moment. The garage then. was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Yeah, I know. Writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin. Outside the story, there's only. Here we go. I can feel the presence in the dark. Rainfall Sheriff Station. Skip. Previously on Alan Way. Here we go. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Ah! Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. It was never there. Well, according to your story, anyway, eh? Departure. Huh. Yeah, he's clean shaven there. It doesn't it doesn't actually suit him to be honest. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Crap Best weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Okay, coffee machine. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. They have a nice place, it seems. You know, it's very spacious and looks like they're just they're either just moving in or they got a new television. Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Huh. So yeah, they got a new TV. Hmm. And yep, from it is a big one. That's what she said, naturally. Hmm. Sorry, I'm hiccuping. <gasps> Ugh. Yeah, that was that was just annoying. Can I pour myself? Co you said the coffee was on. Doesn't look like it. Nor sound like it. Ugh. What's in here? Nothing. There's coffee in here. Oh hey, I just I. those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. You playing you Mirror's think? You playing Mirror's Edge? I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Eh, uh, yeah. Pervy talk, here we go. Eh. Uh, oh yeah, can we go through what the Ugh. All right, fine. We'll take the long way around. Yeah. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them, which by the way will happen over my dead body. Sploosh. This time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan. Yeah, give me. Please check the fuse box. Yeah, give me a moment. Right here. I'm on it, honey. Please. Yeah, I'm just gonna read these first. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss. That killed me. Is that Max Payne or something? 
As I'm thinking of here is Max Payne. Thinking in metaphors, a femme fatale. Uh, I mean, yeah. It just seems so much like Max Payne. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red, a gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Yeah, it's definitely Max Payne. <laughs> uh... Uh, what? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. You got... I really don't like this, Alan. Please hurry. Oh, stop complaining, woman. It's not that bad. Uh, you didn't even make the bed after we... No, oh, never mind. Alan! I really need those lights on! Just get in here. It's pretty bright in here. Oh, it's not bright in here. Uh... Yeah, okay. Uh, it's like, you know, if it was my girlfriend yelling at me because she was afraid of the dark, yeah, I probably would. But since it's Alan's girlfriend, well, wife, eh, I don't think I care. I can't handle much more of this, Alan. Please, get those lights I'm on. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on. Now, please. Eh, well, it's still not that dark in here, you know. It's actually quite light. Yeah. See, I'm right here. There's no. Ugh, never mind. Look, here, I'll switch them back on for you. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Yeah, okay. look. You okay? I'm sorry. I just. It just really spooked me. It's fine. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I'll do it. I know it's stupid, but it's just. Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. It's a phobia, you know. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, awesome. Sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Yay. Well, at least she's being nice. And it's an excuse to be romantic, I suppose. You know, it's all good. Oh dear, present day, so much worse. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? I bet. Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? Dead. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Huh. He looked like he knew what was going on. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. Okay. Let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Hmm. It's laggier in here than it is outside. That's the weird thing. Wait, wait, wait. What's this examine? I'm fish. sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. 
No, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Yeah, I used to be into fishing when I was younger. You know, it's like, as I got older, I'd... I I you'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, just go down the corridor. Yeah. As, as I got older, I started to like it less and less. Just purely because I didn't like the idea of, you know... Just pulling the fish out of their habitat and doing shit like that. So I just, I just didn't like it after a while. I was wondering the flick, what, well, the light was off. Oh yeah, she's playing with the light. The lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Huh. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. She's going on about lights all the time. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Okay, I'm that hearing... Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on, um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs, of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Uh huh. But yeah, she's obsessed with lights a lot, and I'm hearing a lot of stock sound effects for doors opening and closing. You know. The sheriff Can wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. All you know. Oh, was missing. I needed help to find her. I wasn't ready to leave. Well, I don't want to leave. I want to find stuff. So I'll find the coffee and the manuscript. We'll read it. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. I didn't realize what the hell was actually going on. Huh, what's this? Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. Hmm. <laughs> they have no idea what's going on, and they'll never find Stucky because once we shot him, he blew up into a million pieces. Eh, we did shoot him with a flare, so, you know. Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you down the corridor in her office. Okay. Alice was missing. I needed help to find her. I, I know. Ready to leave. It's like, you know, in reality, I would be taking this so much differently. I would be going completely ballistic, punching everybody trying to find my girlfriend. But, you know, it's Alan. He can do whatever he wants. Uh, what's this going on? Richard Bow, Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller on a camping trip. Overdue. Haven't been in contact. If you see them or know the whereabouts, five 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 ninety nine thirty two. Hmm. Okay. So, hmm. They're missing. What's this dude doing? Disappeared sixth of the twentieth. The uh, or the twentieth of the sixth, rather. Oh seven. Bloody American layout. Ugh. Identifying features, knack for winning contests. What? And that's a cat. This the sheriff. Um, can't open stuff, can't move stuff. All right, we're all done here then. Hi, woman. Hey, Mr. Wake, your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's okay. charged now. 
Yeah, well, I would pick it up, but it's um, a Verizon phone or Verizon or your phone, Mr. Wake. Yeah, it's there. I know. Um, you know, I don't like it. It's not nice. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What was that? What was that? I just said to use something. Make sure you don't forget your phone. I'm pretty sure it said to. Ah, uh, it was just the cell phone, wasn't it? Never mind. All right. You started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? Nope. I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? Yeah. The one that doesn't How exist. How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? Uh... I had to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. She looks, uh, suspicious. Hello? Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Hey, Wake. You hey, can get there through Mr. the cell corridor. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. Huh. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. I only look like him. You want to know who it really was? i tell you who it really was. Uh... It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like something a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. I actually believe the dude is wrong as to what it was, but... He is right in that something happened to his friend. Uh, I, told him, oh yeah, well, I, don't I mean, this place is screwed up because everyone in this town seems to be afraid of darkness. Well, not everyone, but some of them, even this guy. Here we go. Let's read it. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Okay. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. That one. Alright, but there's stuff here. So we'll switch on the radio. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> it's just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the Sheriff's Department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Huh. I don't even understand this Deer Fest stuff. It's like, what is it all about exactly? They don't really say. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Well then, let's uh, 
Go and do it. So it's right there that I need to go. Kick. Jeez, yeah, that was a good kick. Script page. Read it. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall in the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Huh. This is getting strange. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Uh huh. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Now, hey, fucking wake! Get over that. Uh, yeah, let's see what goes on, eh? Is he okay? A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Well, that's unique. So this sto we're in a story world where we're saving our wife. Huh. Strange. Sarah, I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are yeah. This asshole. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set Oh dear. Her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where. Oh! Hey, Ooh. Take it easy. That was awesome. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Yeah, now you guys look like assholes. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Well, you know, our comic relief is here. I to talked to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! So it's bad. Barry, hmm. you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Barry's really into her, and Alan hates her. Max. Maybe it's your what vagina. Your head? Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl, and, more importantly, a fan. 
Yeah, it's like you shouldn't really insult your own fans. Dedicated to you. It's like you know, it's I wouldn't try to insult my friggin' subscribers if I said that I had a viewpoint different to theirs. I would just say, well, I agree to disagree. But you know, I wouldn't go, ah, what an airhead. See, Alan, you're a douche. And yeah, he is. Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. Uh, okay. You shot a guy. Yep. His body just disappeared. Uh huh. Last time you slept. Uh. Have um. Been drinking. Uh. No. Look, Barry. I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's just. Do understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Yeah. We're here. Try not to fap all over everything. Oh, coffee. Absolutely cannot forget the coffee. There's a first aid kit here. Don't know what we need that for. Well, not a first aid kit. A first aid box. Uh. Yeah. What am I doing? Hi, Barry. Let's go out this one. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. Hey, the graphics are nice, though. I'll give it that. Yeah. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Uh-huh, with Please, testicles. I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay. Okay. Sure. What happened? Uh, all right, don't answer then. Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing, it... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha! Let's have a laugh on Barry! Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Um. Okay. Bye. Oh dear. Yep, yeah, I did the form, dude. Is the dog okay or. Oh, here you go. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Huh. Alright. Cheers. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps... Traps? I just don't want any trouble. Right, thanks. You're saying there are traps in the woods? Huh. Maybe I should go out there sometime then. Find me some traps. Uh, hmm, I don't know if there are any traps up there, but we'll see. I bet only one person knows what I'm talking You're about. me to believe that you shot a dude who went... <laughs> Into thin air, yep. the guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Yep. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, eh. strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, eh. and eating a healthy diet of pills. Nice. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Yep. Guess the laugh's on me then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. Well, I think we've won him over. Not to mention, yep, homeopathy is fucking full of 
crap. Uh, let's see. It's like something becomes more powerful because you dilute it. All right, I'll jizz in your coffee and dilute it 200 billion times until there's no jizz in it. Then we'll see you get pregnant from it. Yep, here we go. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Huh. Are you still going on about that? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry! They'll kill her. 